Hi, and welcome to our conspiracy. I'm Amy. I hope you can take a couple of minutes, just sit down and uh, have something to share with you. Take a break from your troubles. Uh, I'm wearing my Benjamin Franklin hat <laughs> because this video is all about uh, a love story, um, a series of paintings that I've executed over a five year period about my hometown of Gloucester City, New Jersey. I wanna tell you all about this project. Um, it started in 2017 and I was kind of fascinated with the architecture of my hometown. It's a small town. I want to tell you a little bit about it. Gloucester City, New Jersey is right across the Delaware River from Philadelphia, but it's not a suburb. I don't consider it a suburb. It's its own town. It's got its own history and quite a, quite a long and uh, rich history. And Betsy Ross was married in my hometown. Um, <laughs> and my mother uh, loved our town, uh, loved Gloucester City, and I moved away and lived most of my adult life away, but I came back and I was fascinated with the, as I said, the architecture, the, the buildings, the homes. I remember walking to grammar school, St. Mary's School from my, my uh, house on Hudson Street on the 900 block of Hudson Street. And I, I always was just fascinated looking at the buildings and who lived there and, and you know houses that shared a common wall, but they had two different colors or two different stoops or the windows. And, you know, I was an artist even as a little kid and I loved all this, this detail. And just, I was very interested in, in all the images of my hometown. So I came back and I started to paint them. I painted a few and it was very interesting. Uh, actually, let me let me show you a couple right now, because it's better than just looking at me. So here is a typical example uh, of, of a building on Broadway. You know, it, it was two different uh, houses. You know, that were owned by two different people, and that wall in the middle was you know was a common wall, and a little storefront on the bottom. But this kind of detail and the shutters and the windows and this, even the sidewalks, you know, all became elements that I found fascinating as I explored my hometown. And also the back of the buildings I found very intriguing. Um, this is on the 900 block of Hudson Street. Or, yeah, no, 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 excuse me. Um, I think it's the 500 block. Anyway, close to Broadway, but this was my route going up to the Broadway Deli to buy uh, Tasty Cakes or whatever. But, um, this was also an interesting site. Uh, you can see the Walt Whitman Bridge um, going over to um, Philadelphia. So that was always kind of in, you know, in the sky, in the sky, skyscape. Um, and you can see through in these pictures why I thought the, the buildings were so interesting. And here is my little 941 at Hudson Street where I grew up with my eight siblings. And my mom, Honey Williams, raised us there and was a great and wonderful childhood. And I, I loved my hometown a lot. So anyway, I started doing uh, kind of just buildings that I thought were interesting. And I wanna tell you, go back here for a second. I posted a couple on Facebook and what happened was completely unexpected and absolutely wonderful, which was everybody started talking about the buildings, like in the comment section, like, oh, yeah, I used to, I remember so and so lived there and I went to school with her cousin and I dated her sister. And, you know, that was I lived right across the street <laughs> and people were talking to each other and it became this wonderful connection for people um, in, in the town. And, and I love that so much. And so I started out doing corners and buildings that I was interested in. And very soon after I started sharing them, people started writing me and asking me to do their house or to do their grandmom's house or you know, somebody else's house. And it was wonderful because I got to really reconnect with the town and uh, it, it was absolutely fabulous. So I went from just doing what I wanted to do to doing commissions. And I did maybe 60, 70, I kind of, I'm not even sure how many um, I, I did, uh, but a lot, a lot of, of commissions all around town. And I'm gonna tell you more about those. So let me go back to my screen share. 
So I started doing uh, <clears throat> some, you know, commissions. People said, do this street or that street. And this is a funny story. There's a lot of stories that go with this, but this, this I did because I thought it was such an interesting corner. And my friend, Joe Hergersheimer, hi, Joe. <laughs> he said, oh my God, you drew my house. And, and the tree, I used to climb up in this tree and, you know, look at things. And I'm, I'm looking like, where, where did I do that? And I'm going to uh, scroll down here. Look, this is what he was talking about on the right. <laughs> That's his house. And there is the tree. And it's so funny because it's just a couple of marks, you know, it's a couple of scribbles, but it represented his childhood and his life and his home. And that is, that is so powerful. Art can be such a powerful vehicle for people. And I absolutely love that. So of course I did the, his house solo. I included the tree, not much of it in here on the left, but I did Joe's house um, at that point <laughs> just, just to make sure um, that he had that more than just a few scribbles. So, <clears throat> okay. So I want to tell you a little bit more about this project. So I'm getting all these commissions coming in, do this house and that house, which is great, but I'm not there. I actually live in Thailand. I've been living in Thailand for almost 10 years, but I do come back to the States every year for like at least three months and see my people and see my family and my family comes to visit me, but, but I'm, you know, away. And so when I got these commissions, I, I thought, okay, well, <laughs> I, I wanted to keep working. And so I started using Google earth. And if you've never used Google earth, uh, I'll tell you, it's pretty fun. You sort of, it's free and you can download it, but I put in the address and there's a globe and, and it turns and goes down to United States and then down to New Jersey and then down to Gloucester and down to the street and zoop, and there it is. And then I put the little guy on the street and, and all of a sudden, boom, there, I see the house. <laughs> and sometimes I'm like, what? Or sometimes, you know, it's great, but sometimes there's some problems, um, <laughs> which I'll tell you about. You can't do them all from Google Earth. Sometimes you go down and this is what you see. <laughs> when you get there, it's like, uh-oh. Or maybe there's a tree in front of it. Like here's one commission I had. <clears throat> this is kind of near my house of Hudson Street. This is on Johnson Boulevard. And this was the view from Google Earth. Well, that's not a lot to work with. So I had to basically wait until I got to Gloucester. And I got in there and I looked around the corners and I took a bunch of photographs and I had to kind of work around and I did quite a bit of pruning, artistic pruning, so to speak. And then this was the final product. So sometimes Google Earth uh, doesn't work, but most of them I was able to do via Google Earth, which was very exciting because I, I got to be in Gloucester really while I was living in Thailand. It was really fun. I had other kind of fun situations too with these commissions. Like I did this one. This is my cousin Liz Devine's house. And, you know, I think I did this one first, but and then one of her siblings wanted one. So I had to do another one, but I didn't want to do the same one. So this is another version. And that wasn't the only commission that I had to satisfy siblings. I had one, I think I had five siblings. I had to do five versions of the same house, which was pretty challenging. And then here's one, I had such a good time. And I worked closely with the, the owner of the house who wanted me to uh, put the certain kind of flowers in the flower boxes in the front and the, the uh, rocking chair on the porch that I think her mom sat in. And, you know, I, I would have to uh, tailor these. Even the birdcage um, was added to her, uh, um, her wish list. Um, and one of a very common uh, thing was people said, don't put in the trash cans because <laughs> the trash cans would be there. And, you know, when I would look at it with Google Earth. Or they wanted me to change the color of the siding or you know, something like that. And then I would come into some situations like this one where they wanted me to do the house, but they really wanted it in a way to be more like it was in the past. So they sent me um, this, which is what the house used to look like. You can see the window shutters, you know, the screens, very old school. So wonderful. So this is the modern version and this is history. And then that is the artwork. So sometimes I had to combine the present and the past 
which I think was really challenging and interesting. And here's another example where here's the contemporary house, which I think is still pretty interesting, but they wanted me to look at what it looked like in the past. So I did that, look at this great car over here. And I combined those and that was the artwork. So not only was the Google Earth challenging to try to find uh, the house and get a good view and you know, use several different sources, but sometimes I had to recreate the past which I thought was really fun too. And I, I love this, this as another funny story. I'm not sure if this house or this house, I think it was this one, but I got the commission, painted the house, I sent it to them, I sent the digital image, you know, cause I wasn't there yet. And I said, ta-da, here's your house, ta-da. And the, <laughs> the lady said, I, I love it. It's really great, Amy, but that's not my house. <laughs> Her house was, I think, this one over here, two houses down. It's this one, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was 212 Essex and 216 Essex or 214 Essex. But the truth is, this little house here, look at this, that is gone. It should be right here. So here's the empty lot where that house was. So I'm so glad I did that because it's it's not there anymore. So those are just a few of the stories um, of the commissions. I'm gonna take my hat off in one second. Okay, so those are just a few of the funny stories uh, of things that happened to me during this project uh, for the last five years. It's been a real labor of love. And I was still working on some things. Actually, I got sort of got back to planning and doing the work that I, the artwork I wanted to do in the beginning. And uh, I had a show and exhibit planned for 2019, which was canceled because of COVID. And so I, it was derailed like many things were, and I had hoped to have it this year, but it didn't work out either. So anyway, I want to share the new work with you. So I'm gonna start posting it on the Gloucester City History in photo site. I'll probably do two a week. There are, I think, 17 new pieces, uh, relatively new. There are a few that have been around for a while, so you might have seen a couple of them, but I'm going to put them out and I will give you a link uh, that shows you where you can see all of the pieces I've done, all 70 of them, on my website. And also, uh, I'll be adding to, you know, building up to the whole collection. Um, the big crescendo. <laughs> um, so you'll be able to see that as well. So I just want to share that with everybody. And please do comment. I love those comments about who knows what. Oh, and I actually have somewhere. I don't remember where it is. <laughs> I had a picture and I don't have an address. And uh, I have been zooming around on Google Earth, but sometimes I can't find it. So I'm sure you guys will help me. But uh, I do have a couple of things to say, and, and one is I am I am coming back to the U.S. I'm actually leaving tomorrow, coming back to the U.S. And I'm going to be back for several months. So if anybody wants me to do a house, let me know, and uh, I'll be happy to do it. Uh, I'm going to be in Gloucester, so I can do something on location, or I can do my usual tricks via Google Earth. Um, but I can get it to you while I'm there, and I do it for a pretty reasonable price. And also, if anybody would like to acquire one of the new pieces, just let me know, because um, they'll be there in, in Jersey. So I'll be looking forward to seeing you. I'll be walking around Gloucester uh, in a few weeks, actually. So I'm really excited. And I just wanted to share uh, all that with you uh, as I am getting ready to head your way. So hope everyone's staying safe out there and take care. And I'll see you. See you later. Okay. Bye from our conspiracy. I'll put the uh, link to the website with all the commissions and all the work um, below. Okay. Take care.